In this video, I will be sharing with you how you can connect to a Windows Server using PuTTY. So for this example, I'll be using a Windows Server running in AWS. If you're on another cloud platform, the steps are pretty much the same. Just follow the concept and you'll be able to successfully connect to your server using PuTTY, right? So the first thing you want to do is connect to your server. So let's RDP, RDP client, download remote desktop file, open, select yes. So the first thing you want to do is go to features. So here select add an additional feature. So what we're going to be doing is installing OpenSSH. Now by default, the OpenSSH client is installed, right? And the, the feature that you're going to add is OpenSSH server. So mine is already installed. So in your case, you're going to select add feature and just search open. And you'll see the OpenSSH feature pops up. Then you install it. You may be required to reboot your server. Now the second thing that you want to do is go to your firewall settings. So you go to firewall and then you're going to add a port for a firewall to accept SSH connections. So you're going to inbound rules, select new rule, select port, select next, specify the port, which is 22, select next, allow the connection, select next, select next here or whatever applies to you. And here I'm just going to say test SSH port, select finish. Now you need to ensure that the services are running for your SSH server. So start and search for services. So here I'm just going to enlarge this and scroll down to where I see open SSH. So by default, they will not be running. So you have to start them, right? So you right click and select the action that you wish, right? In your case, it will be start. So now let's go on to step three. So because I'm in the cloud, I need to add a firewall rule on the server itself. So when I select instance here, select my instance ID, then I'm going to go to security. Now this is my security group. So I'm going to select the security group here. And what you're going to do is add a rule to your firewall. So here I'm just going to edit inbound rules and you'll simply select add and choose SSH. It automatically detects the port and then you add the IP that you want to add, right? And then you save the rule. And that's basically it. Now we can successfully SSH to our Windows server. So I'm going to launch PuTTY. Let me make these. I'm going to go back to my instance to get my instance public name. So when I select instance, select the instance ID, select connect, select RDP client, I want to grab my public DNS here and then select open, accept. I'm going to log in as administrator. Now I just need to enter my password and I've been successfully connected. So if I do a DIR, you'll see all my directories listed out. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.